Hello and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of March 3rd through March 9th. The card that we pulled this week from the Lioness Oracle deck is the Queen of Swords. I normally don't read descriptions directly from the book of the deck that the card comes from because I like to kind of go on my own intuition and my own feelings, but there was a line in the Lioness Oracle guidebook that was so beautifully suited to the energy of this card this week that I just simply had to share it with you. So in regards to the Queen of Swords, it says, She is aware that it is not wise to let just anyone or anything into her kingdom. That was super fitting for what I feel for this card this week. This week is all about establishing boundaries. So really start to think of your energy this week as your own beautiful internal kingdom. And whenever you go out into social interactions, be mindful of who you're letting in through the gates. And if someone feels like they are there to take something from you, and it may not be a conscious effort. Some people are energy vacuums without meaning to be, but that's just their energetic state. They're in need of energy. And just recognize what's happening there. Recognize when those energetic interactions are coming in and when you need to sort of close off and protect yourself. So if you have certain people that can occasionally make you feel a little drained after interacting with them, you might want to establish boundaries in one way by spending a little less time with them or only spending time with them when you have energy to spare. Or you can also establish boundaries energetically. And you can do this by simply establishing your own visualization practice before you encounter these people that can help you to feel sort of protected and closed off. So this is something I've learned as an energy worker and it sounds really hokey and maybe it's a placebo effect, maybe it's your mind playing tricks on you. I don't really care because it works. You can imagine that you're closing a cloak around yourself to protect your energy whenever you interact with these people. I like to imagine that there's just a cylinder that comes shooting down around my body to disconnect all of the bad energy, all of the cords that need to be cut so that I can reestablish my own energy and be away from the outside world's influence. So if these are things that work for you, feel free to take them on. Uh, if you would rather work with a talisman, you can work with certain crystals. I know I am usually wearing this black tourmaline crystal almost any time that I'm interacting with large numbers of people throughout the day because it is supposed to absorb negative energies. So that's a way to find a boundary between myself and other people's energy. But if that's not something that resonates with you, go back to the establishing boundaries in a more practical sense and really just know who you can spend time with at certain points of your life also realize that there are people that are worthy of being welcomed into your kingdom. So if you have been shutting down the gates a little too often and shutting out people that are truly worthy of being let in, that actually might have something to give you, something to teach you, something to provide for you, or maybe just a little bit of comfort, you can also find a way to open things up. So sometimes we get so hung up on past interactions and past heartache that it can take us time to open up to new relationships that might be more worthy than we give them credit for. So if there's someone in your life that you've been kind of holding back on, start to evaluate if that's something that you are doing out of what they are presenting to you and their energy, or is it something that you're doing out of fear from past interactions that are similar to this? and really start to give the person the benefit of the doubt and allow yourself to see them for what they are and what they're bringing to the table without being weighed down by your baggage of the past relationships. So this could go either way. You could start to evaluate the situation as it is and let go of all the past influences and you may find that you actually need more boundaries in this situation and that you were being a little too open and you need to start to protect yourself a little more. Or it could mean that you start to evaluate the situation and you realize that all of these hurts or fears that you have surrounding interacting with this person are really more about other people than it is about them and start to give them credit for what it is that they're providing for you. I think it's a really beautiful thing to start to see people for exactly who they are and really know who is worthy of your open energy and who you need to be a little more protected from. And it's not that either one is a good or bad person, it's just all about the energy interaction. Certain people's energies clash, certain people's energies meld. So if you are in a situation where you are melding well and everything's mingling very beautifully, allow yourself to open up. 
If you feel a little bit of a clash, allow yourself to feel protected or maybe physically distance yourself from that person for a while. So let it ebb and flow. Let the good energies come into your life and support the energy you have within you. And maybe find a little distance from the bad energies that are draining you or making you more dependent on the outside world than you are on your internal state. Clap along, clap, clap along. I hope that you've liked this video. Feel free to subscribe and share it with your friends.